hi we're back okay so in last video we have covered till there is still animals yes now we will start now we will start aquatic animals wait please uh, we will start aquatic animals aquatic animals okay now what is aquatic sorry okay what is aquatic these animals live in water okay they live in water so these are called aquatic okay? now we will when we will study aquatic animals you remember one word aquatic aquatic okay Okay, what is what are these animals? Let's read it up. Animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. Most aquatic animals breathe through gills, except whales and dolphins. They breathe through lungs. Most aquatic animals have fins or paddles that help them to swim. Okay, and Apart from fish, octopus, turtle, and crabs are also aquatic animals. Okay, so turtle, uh, turtle is also a uh, aquatic animal. Okay, so this is also a aquatic animal. Okay, now what is the function of breathing in whales and dolphins? Yes. They breathe through what? Lungs. Okay. They breathe through lungs. Okay. Now, when we will look that these animals breathe through gills also and lungs also. So, you have uh, observed also sometimes if you have gone to the beach or somewhere where the beach is there and the dolphins is also and whales are also found. There, what you will see that the I uh, means those you know whales keep on coming out and throw a large amount of water out. Yes, so they breathe when they come out, they breathe and then throw in water again. Okay, so now, now what we will study. Okay. Now this is covered. So there are many examples. So of uh, the aquatic animals. Now amphibians. Animals that can live on both land and in water are called amphibians. Okay? They can live both in land also and in water also. Okay. So I have also told you earlier that these can live both on both. The back legs of these animals are stronger and then their front legs. Okay. Joan ke peechi wale legs hote hai. Wo strong hote hai front legs se. Okay. This helps them to jump which is how they move on land. Okay. They have webbed feet that helps them to swim in water. Okay. It helps to them. It helps them to swim in water. Frogs and toads. Frogs and toads are amphibians. Okay. Now, now comes our arboreal. These animals live mostly on trees. Okay, they are. They can come on land also. Uh, okay, these come on land also, and sometimes they can go in water also. But mostly, mostly they live on land, okay? Mostly they live on land. So, they have sharp claws to climb up and down the branches. And usually have strong muscular limbs. What are limbs? Okay, like you've seen a koala. Even I have not seen. But you here you can see that this image is of a koala this is a koala and you know this koala is 
having limbs it means uh these let me try to show you these are you know these hands they're having uh, this strong limbs that help them to when whenever you will be uh, climbing on monkey bar no then uh, like with monkeys also like that they climb on monkey bars and so what happened there uh, they have strong limbs that they, they um, jab hum monkey bar pe latakne ki koshish karte hain we can uh, be there for one or two minutes or more than it maybe but uh, monkeys can uh, monkeys jo hote hain wo wahan par latak sakte hain climb there for a lot of time okay so that because they are having strong limbs, limbs okay so now some you or some use their tail for holding on the branches sometimes monkeys and monkeys you know they use their um they use their tail for hanging on the trees big big trees on the branches so examples of the arboreal animals are koala and monkey okay so mostly monkeys also live in the trees only okay now aerial animals what are aerial animals aerial animal means the animals that can fly birds okay animals that can fly and spend a lot of time of their in air are called aerial animals okay such animals have hollow bones that make their body light okay they have hollow bones matlab ki khokli haddi means you know khokli hoti hai matlab ki andar se khali uh, in our language we say it khokla yes now they have one set of limbs modified as wings they also have lim- uh, limbs hum unhe wings kehte hain that help them to fly okay the body shape of avian animal is such uh, is such as they are able to cut through the air easily unki body shape aisi hoti hai jo wo jo aap uh, hamara wo hai na uh, air mein wo acche se ud sake yes almost all birds except flightless birds belong to this group sare birds except the flightless birds mean the kiwi penguin and ostrich except these birds all can fly and belong to this group okay bats are also a part from this group bats jo hote hain wo bhi inka ek part hai okay so now in the cold winter months when the food becomes uh, when jab food kam ho jata hai many birds fly towards warmer countries in search of food and warmth okay um this movement is called migration okay aap kabhi dekhte honge ki you will see that many birds come come and also go from here to there because they cannot get food in uh, such a reason so they go from uh, uh, they go from, go from the that reason to other reason and then they will get if they will not get the food there so then they will go to other reason okay so okay so these are the an uh, avian animals and one of their presses okay one of their movement now one thing is important what animals eat animals eat different types of food okay based on the type of food they eat they can be divided into five main groups herbivores carnivores and omnivores scavengers and parasites you might heard this word a uh, word which is parasites okay herbivores i think you might have been studied it in third or fourth grade uh, third or second or first grade okay what are herbivores animals that eat plants are called herbivores animals 
जो होते हैं जो प्लांट्स खाते हैं और प्लांट से बने हुए प्रोडक्ट्स खाते हैं उन्हें क्या कहते हैं हम अभी बोर्स ओके बिगिन सो दीज एनिमल्स आर कॉल्ड हर्बी बोर्स सो दीज एनिमल्स हैव शार्प टेथ फॉर बाइटिंग एंड कटिंग द फूड प्लांट्स ओके and very strong teeth for grinding okay them having they having very strong teeth for grinding means khane ko chabana okay this is because plant food needs to be chewed a lot as it is very rich in a substance called what is this cellulose which is difficult to break down okay Okay. Now we will move to carnivores. What is carnivores? Okay, sorry, I'm not. I'm confused at how to pronounce this word. This word. So, sorry if you know you can pronounce. Okay, now let's move to carnivores. What are carnivores? Animals that eat flesh. Lion, a carnivorous, and most carnivorous have very sharp teeth for tearing out the flesh of its prey. Lion, tiger, snake, lizards are examples of carnivorous. Okay. Now, what are omnivores? Omnivore. These animals eat the flesh also, and the plants also. Okay. Raccoon. Examples, okay, and bear also, okay, bear, and human. We also, we also eat, we eat uh, plant products also. We eat vegetables, fruits, and we eat, we eat meat also. Yes. Now, what are scavengers? What are scavengers? Okay, I can tell you, scavengers. Some flesh-eating animals feed on their flesh of dead animals. Flesh of dead animals मतलब कि वो हंट नहीं करते अपने लिए वो जो animals मर जाते हैं उनका flesh खाते हैं they do not hunt for it और like lion and tiger they are they are eating but due to some reason they have run from them so that the so then the scavengers will come and then they will eat that leftover flesh they eat the leftover flesh examples would be crow vulture and hyena okay parasites parasites some small animals derive their nutrients from other living organisms Such animals are called parasites. Okay, so what are parasites? जो animals हमारे अंदर से blood लेते हैं, nutrients लेते हैं, उन्हें हम क्या कहते हैं parasites. They uh, they may live on inside of the body of their host. Flea uh, fleas and lice. Live on the hot body and suck blood. So, क्या करते हैं वो लाइट नॉट द हाउस फ्लाइज बट द मोस्किटोज डू दिस दिस इट ऑन अवर हैंड एंड वी इवन डू नॉट फील वट्स हैपनिंग एंड दे सक अवर ब्लड ओके दे सक अवर ब्लड सो वन मोर फैक्ट दैट द सिंगल ऑफ लाइज इज Louse. Okay. Now examples would be tapeworm, roundworm, hookworm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So adaptation for protection. What is adaptation? So I will explain you what is adaptation. Then we would end the video. Okay. What is adaptation? Adaptation. Adaptation means like 
Many animals have adapted themselves well to the environment to protect themselves from the enemies. Okay. So, what is adaption? I have taught you earlier in my previous video. If you haven't watched it, you can get the link in the description box, which is first part of this chapter. You will get the nice explanation for this. Okay. Adaption. Let me tell you it again. Adaption means up, jaise ki three, four years or five, six years, you will live in Chimla. Now you will live there. Now after that, some will uh, it's your transfer or anything is there any with any reason you are going to Rajasthan. Now in Rajasthan there would be a so cold uh, sorry hot weather, and and in Rajasthan they are sending you to the resort. So there will be so much hot weather there. Okay. So you will get difficulties to survive there. Yes, you will get difficulties there to survive. Now, you will get many health problems. Now, you've been adapted yourselves to the cold weather. Okay. So this is called adaption. Okay. When we adapt themselves, ourselves, not themselves ourselves to the environment okay now okay so adaption is completed and i end the video here please like share and subscribe thank you